And with all, so I, I so kind of feel bad for Ali sometimes because you know when Abu Bakr came to power, everyone we were like, "Yes, we stand behind Abu Bakr." When Omar came to power, everybody stood behind Abu Bakr. When mm-hmm. Osman came to power, actually Osman started some of the fucking divisions. But when Ali came to power, even his strongest followers started leaving him one by one. And they, they, yeah, <laughs> so and, and, and I, that, like poor guy. Like, but that's the thing, and it's not just the fact that Omar was a really, really great warrior and he went and he did a lot of conquests. It's not that he was great and then Ali was just ordinary. Ali wasn't even ordinary. He wasn't even mediocre as a political leader. As a caliph, he was a complete failure. Uh, Osman, <laughs> Ali was apparently he was apparently a great uh, spiritual leader, right? Right, had so, a lot of influence, but his community remained very small because it was very family based. It wasn't based on uh, a, a lot of the conquests and everything. It was more sort of philosophical, and you know he wanted to spread the ideas of Islam. Whereas Omar was going around just holding a sword to people's throats. Like, she has think Abu Bakr and Omar were both, uh, you know, they were powerful rulers but they were bad muslims right maybe omar they actually admire um omar they, they were both very successful caliphs right. they're ex so yes successful but, the, but osman gets every, a lot of hate for being neither a good muslim and not power like he fought, he started uh ruling so bad that everything started falling apart the whole division you know the internal you know war and everything started with osman until mm-hmm. he got killed but the Shias would say the reason why Ali wasn't as powerful was because his piety, because he was a good Muslim, yeah. because he was always wanting to do the right thing, and the right thing was not always the politically correct thing to do. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.